The extraordinary ways in which women and men have shaped their bodies into distinctive silhouettes in the name of fashion will be examined in an exhibition opening this spring. Fashioning the Body, an Intimate History of the Silhouette. The exhibition will present the many devices and materials of undergarments in the West, from the 17th century to today, including panniers, corsets, crinolines, bustles, girdles, and push-up brassieres. The exhibition will also look at how lacing, hinges, straps, springs, and stretch fabrics have been used to alter natural body forms. The purpose of such garments has remained consistent, to flatten the stomach, compress the waist, support the bust, lift the breasts, and sometimes flatten them, and add curves to the hips. In short, comfort was superseded by appearance. The exhibition will also include garments for children who wore corsets beginning in the 17th century. Structured with armatures and other mechanisms, the garments of the 18th century enforce the erect posture in order to convey a sense of superiority through the display of an idealized physical form. Fashioning the body continues into the 19th century, in which the corset held tyrannical sway, embodying the voguish insistence on a wasp waist, accentuated by the excessive ballooning of crinoline. After 1870, this kind of boned hoop skirt disappeared and was replaced by the bustle, which gave women an odd and sinuous profile reminiscent of a goose. Undergarments were never as abundant or as concealed as they were in the 19th century, including examples used by men, and eventually the bust enhancing and push-up bras of today. These devices were designed to create a plunging look for even the slimmest figures, reflecting the dictates of the canons of beauty at a time when bodies are modeled more by diets, bodybuilding, and surgery than by clothing. <laughs>